K Academy is special. It brings together, first of all, our former players. And to me, that's the best thing. And you, that's how they become friends. The 80s, the 90s, guys from three years ago, 10 years ago. It's a joy, you know, to come back, um, to have, you know, 30 to 35 of our former players here has been great. Getting to see the, the incoming freshmen and, and all the, the guys that have made this program uh, amazing. It's always great to get the Duke family back together and the guys you played with, former players, guys that played before you, after you. It's competitive, it's a lot of fun. You know, we always have bragging rights after this week. And I just got done with the playoffs and, you know, first place I came was the Duke. Obviously, it's a great opportunity for, you know, people in the outside world to get a chance to live as a Duke player for a week and enjoy the experience. Whether you're here one year, you're here four years, it goes quickly. And then meeting the connection of generations, Jason Tatum, Tyus Jones, all these winners. Players that played 20, 30 years after you, you're connected with, unbelievable. Everyone is you know, happy to be here. And I think the coolest part is how competitive it gets. And it's like, my team is gonna beat your team. And the amount of you know, time and detail that we put into scouting the players um, and then creating our team, you, know, you really get you know, indebted to it. Everyone you know, lets go of who they are. And you know, for those four or five days, you know, they're players, we're coaches, and we're trying to win. And so I think for all the former players, how great is it to say, I have a game in Cameron tonight. That's something you miss. You miss being with the guys, the team. For the campers here at the Academy, they're getting to experience what, what you had, and they get a little taste of it. It's getting the chance to get to know some other guys better that I didn't cross paths with here at Duke. And so, uh, specifically, Luol Deng is on my staff this week. Luol's doing amazing work in the world, in Africa. And uh, he's played in the NBA for 15 years. Uh, he loves Duke, and one of the all-time great guys and great players to come through here. Every year I've been in Africa or somewhere in London doing foundation stuff and I've always missed it. And I would give the credit to John Shire. Uh, throughout the year he constantly kept calling me about it. So I'm just reconnecting with everyone. And it's actually crazy because it feels like it was yesterday, even though it's so long. And it hit me when I did a radio interview the other day and Tatum was there. And someone say from one and done, last year to one and done 14 years ago. I just, uh, I felt so old, man. And I was like, I'm 33, but I it just felt so old. So now, but it feels like it was yesterday. So I'm, I'm really happy to be back. There's a common bond there. They're all Duke basketball players. And now they get a chance to become friends. And that's how the brotherhood was formed. It's not some figment of someone's imagination. Come here and there's 30 to 35 guys every year that come back. Family is a, is a big thing in my life and, and always has been. Uh, I think a lot of places preach family, um, but Duke basketball is family. The fact that so many guys come, come back uh, shows just you know, how great of a relationship Coach has with so many of his players. You know, when you give all your, your all to something, um, you, you get a lot in return. For me, it gives me a chance to reconnect, but mainly to catch up and and grow together as a family. It creates, you know, a, a bond that, you know, is unbreakable and the love that coach has for them um, is reciprocated. I didn't have an appreciation for the, the brotherhood that is Duke until I left, um, until I started, um, you know, going to all these different cities and guys like Lou Wall inviting me over to his home in Miami, even though we never played together. The willingness to reach out and, and uh, connect with each other is, is really neat. Everybody played, you know, for coach, and, and that's what brings us all together. Even guys that played before I was even born, the love and support that we all have for each other, no matter when we played, uh, just shows how much, you know, the, the brotherhood impacts all of us. When you talk to people from other programs, they, most of them don't have that connectivity. And we've added because Coach has, you know, it's an incredible legacy. The fact you have four generations of players playing from one coach in one school, nobody else has that. That's, that's only a do. That, that's what makes it so special to me. The connection and relationships you build um, with everybody, they're lifelong, they're genuine. It's not just about basketball or just about when you were here on campus. It's forever and uh, that's what's you know, special about Duke.